Hi there, my name is Liz and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I post home decor content every Sunday and Wednesday from shop with me videos to affordable decor and DIYs. So if that is the kind of content you like to see, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss out on future videos. Now for today's video, we are going to Hobby Lobby. I don't normally go to Hobby Lobby or like I've been, but it's not really one of my regular go-tos. Sometimes it can be a little heavy on the farmhouse decor for me, but I feel like it would just be fun to go check out what they have and then afterwards if I find anything I want to do a little haul for you guys so let's go to Hobby Lobby okay so we are headed into Hobby Lobby and the very first section that I wanted to check out were their faux florals I feel like I do see a lot of youtubers and kind of like home decor bloggers always talk about the faux florals that they get from Hobby Lobby and I will say I was quite impressed they had a huge huge selection they had probably like two or three times what I normally see at my local Michaels. And a lot of them were actually pretty realistic looking like these ones. I just thought that they were so beautiful. I do, however, know that they do have a lot of, not a lot, but they have sales on their faux florals occasionally. So I am holding out for those sales and I will let you guys know whenever I go for that. But I was just so impressed by just how many faux florals and greenery that they had here. Like their selection just went on and on. It's like these rows or these aisles were never ending. And honestly, it just made me so happy walking down these aisles because like, just look at all of these florals. How could they just not make your heart happy and make you feel like it is spring and just gorgeous. They also had a large selection of all of these like faux trees, which I thought they weren't all like the most realistic looking in my honest opinion, um, but they did have a large selection at decent prices. So I just wanted to point that out as well. And next to all of those trees, they had all of these big planters and I was pretty impressed by the prices. Honestly, I thought they were really good, like $20 for this one, which is pretty large in my opinion. Um, and I did really like the colors and the material there. So they had a wide selection of that and these cute little topiary trees, which were a little pricey in my opinion, but I still like that they just had so many options. So then once I got through the aisles with just the faux florals, they did also have a bunch of these large aisles with faux greenery specifically. They had sprays, they had garland, so they really had the full gamut. And then I was shocked to see even more faux florals. I was excited to see their wreath selection. They didn't really have as many as I expect them to have and none of them like really stood out to me. I thought this one was kind of pretty for spring, but ultimately I was a little disappointed with their wreath selection. So then I finally moved into the rest of the decor and they were having two big sales whenever I went. One of the sales was 50% off of table decor, which honestly included a lot of different types of decor items and then 40% off of anything labeled their spring shop. And I mean, as you guys can see, things that were labeled spring weren't like specifically spring related at all the time. Um, like this cute little bench or stool plant stand. I don't really know exactly what it was, but I just thought it was so adorable. And same with this. I liked how it kind of had like a rustic antique look to to it and I just thought it was really cute. They had this huge variety of these candle holders and I think that these all counted as table decor so I believe that these were all 50% off and they had just like the widest selection of these that I had ever seen anywhere. I thought that these little white ones were cute, but I wasn't feeling strongly enough about them to actually get them. Um, and then on the other side of this aisle, they had all of these like glass vases or hurricanes. I thought that this selection was amazing. I loved like so many of these. 
These little ones honestly reminded me of something that I would almost see at Pottery Barn. Maybe even like Serena and Lily with like the glass and the light wood look. These little jugs with this like woven basket I thought were so freaking cute. Very springy, very summery, very trendy I feel like. And I think that, again that these are like 50% off right now. And then I also thought that these little glass jugs were really cute. I love the little like bluish green tint in the glass. And I think that this shape is just really on trend right now as well. So I thought those were adorable. And then look at these little glasses. So these are in the spring shop. So they're 40% off. So I feel like they were such a good price because these types of glasses are so in right now. And I think that they can get really pricey. And they also have the same type of style in these wine glasses. So their seasonal decor section, I'll say it, it is unmatched. Like look at all of this stuff. It honestly makes me wanna throw a themed party. I think it's all just like so cute and colorful and pretty and it is just so fun to look through. I thought that this little scrub brush was really cute and at a really great price. Plus it has 40% off. I honestly should have brought this home with me. Um, but I feel like a lot of people or like designers and bloggers will put this on their kitchen counter next to their sink instead of like an ugly scrub brush. So it looks cute. Um, so I thought that was a really great affordable find. And they also had a really great selection of outdoor pillows and rugs. I thought this blue pattern one was really cute. And then they had this one aisle that was just full of wooden kind of decor accent pieces and then these little vases i thought were really cute to use as like bud vases you know i thought that if you got a handful of those those could look like really cute for that and i loved that they had all of these wooden utensils i was really tempted to just grab a large selection of these to throw in a crock on my kitchen counter and all of these placemats that are like these woven materials, I think are so, so in for spring and summer. And I love that they're just like so beautiful and they add a lovely natural texture and material. And again, they were just like a really great price. I was also really impressed by all of these really large baskets that they had and like there's no reason that these are necessarily spring related but they're in the spring shop section so they're 40% off so that was just really amazing just the amount of things that they considered their spring shop that they had a sale on. And then moving in to the mirror section. I was really impressed with the selection here. They had like aisles and aisles of mirrors and this specific aisle, again, the spring shop. So I don't really know what makes them springy necessarily, but they were on sale for 40% off. This tall one is kind of a good dupe for the classic anthropology primrose mirror. It was 350 plus 40% off. So that is a steal compared to the OG anthro one. And while a little farmhousey, I thought that this light washed furniture was all really beautiful and really pretty. Um, I loved that one little chest with the white and the light wash wood. And the prices were honestly really on par with what I feel like I would find at a home goods. So while these types of items aren't really my personal style, just like look at all of these little middle aisles that they had that were part of their sale. I was just so impressed. And I also never fully realized just the selection of little handles that they have to like swap out on your furniture. So I will definitely be keeping that in mind. I thought that these ones were so cute for $5. Like I think that they look really beautiful and really nice for that price. And in case the mirrors before weren't enough of a selection for you, they have more and more mirrors. There were literally like two or three at more aisles just of mirrors. I also saw these little, I don't know, vases or hurricanes, but I thought that they were really similar to something that I would find at like Anthro or even like H&M Home. And I originally came over here for those little jars that looked very like anthro inspired, but then I saw this little wooden kind of dough bowl and I thought that it was so, so cute. 
I loved this little green checked pillow. It wasn't in the spring shop, which I was really hoping it would be. It was actually just like in like the little boy's bedroom section, but I think this is so cute for spring. And then this little cabinet, I honestly have absolutely no idea where I would put it, but it was just like so cute and adorable. If I did get this, I would probably replace these little poles because they're not very great, but oh my gosh, I thought it was just so freaking cute. And they had this huge section of baskets and trays and just, I was honestly so shocked guys by their selection. And again, this was all considered table decor. So this was all 50% off of the marked price. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what they had in the store today. I honestly was super impressed with their selection. So now let's do a little mini haul. I actually only got one item from Hobby Lobby and I have a couple of random things that I actually ended up grabbing from the Target dollar spot section before I went to Hobby Lobby that I just still want to share with you guys. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up I have this little plant stand. I loved it so much. I think it's so cute and it looks very like rustic and something like I would find at a little vintage shop. So I loved it. I feel like I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it yet, but it's just, I couldn't pass it up and it was on sale. It was in their, it was marked in their spring shop. So it was 40% off. So it's marked here at $34.99 and ended up being, I think about like $22-ish. So um, I thought while it was on sale, I couldn't pass it up. And it's just, it's so cute. I feel like there are so many different spaces that you can put this and like, can move it around the house constantly. So I'm super excited about this one. Okay, so that is actually the only item that I ended up getting from Hobby Lobby, but I love it. Um, I think whenever they do end up having a sale on their faux florals, I'm probably gonna go and pick some up. So I will try to record that for you guys as well. But before I went to Hobby Lobby, I actually stopped at Target just to pick up some like essentials. So I didn't film anything, um, but their dollar section, like their dollar spot was so good so there were things that i ended up picking up and i thought that they were so cute and such a steal so i wanted to share those with you guys so first up and this is the first thing that i saw in the dollar spot that made me like put my basket down and get a cart <laughs> um this little cement planter so it is it looks like it's kind of that like cane webbing material um but it is just cement guys it was five dollars look at that oops that's it done it was five dollars how could i not um and so it's just it looks like a kind of like dupe for a pot that mcgee and co has and i'm sure that that's where they got like the inspo you know but it was just like for the price i couldn't not pick it up i don't really have a plant for it right now but i'll get one okay next up i just grabbed two of these little three dollar candles they come in this like really cute little glass base in this green and I actually really like the scent of the green one. It came in also like a light pink and a white. And this was just my favorite. And like I personally, I love green. I'm a green girl. And I think it's like so cute for spring. It smells really fresh and great. And I actually have one of these that I got a few weeks ago. So whenever I saw that they still had them, I grabbed a couple because at $3, like the scent actually, it travels really well. And then also we do just have like a really small powder room down here. So I like to get little mini candles like this for in there. But I just, I love these and they're so precious. Okay, and then the last item that I picked up from the Target dollar section, I got two of these little frames. Um, and they're just like, I think they're just like really cute with a really like light wood wash here. Um, and they were $3 a piece. So I just, I don't know, I think they're really cute. On the back, it has directions to use either as a photo frame or as a flower press, which I think is really cute and really on for spring. Um, and I just thought that they'd be really cute together. And again, I, they were $3, so like, how could I not? Okay, so that actually wraps up my little mini haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything, um, and I hope that you enjoyed walking through Hobby Lobby with me today. If you did enjoy watching this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below so that you like the video, and also subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. I hope to see you guys next time.